Hey guys, this is AI Gaming1776, and I might have a fix for the stuttering problems in Forza Horizon 3. It's more of a trick than a real fix, but it does more or less do the job. Now, if you look in that upper right hand corner, you can see there is a frame rate counter supplied by Microsoft, since a lot of custom overlays do not work with this game yet. And if you watch that frame rate counter, you should notice a decent amount of frame rate fluctuation. And if you're playing the game right now, you would feel the stuttering. So we're going into the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s in rapid succession, you might have noticed. Now, because of the color of the sky right now, it may actually make it difficult for you to notice, and I apologize for that. This game randomly chooses the daytime and the weather, and during my hours of testing, it was actually sunny while I was playing. And of course, now it would be rainy. All right, it just felt a pretty good stutter, and it went down to 60. Uh, went back up to 75, 72, 60... See, it's going back and forth very quickly. Sometimes it will even go into the 40s and 50s. Uh, the system we're using, by the way, is a GTX 1070 paired with an i7-4790. Now, I already did a video where I paired a 1080 with a 6700K. And I showed that even on that, it stuttered. Now, I just saw it go into the 50s. And it's in the 60s, fluctuating up into the 70s, into the 60s. All right, let me show you the settings. All right, we are 1080p, uh, unlocked frame rate, no V-Sync, and then this is basically the high preset with some things turned down. I turned down uh, the windshield reflection quality, the mirror quality, and I turned down the MSAA. So it's basically the, um, the high preset with things actually turned down, despite the fact we're in 1080p. Now let me lock it at 72 frames per second. My options are unlocked, 72, 48, 36. Those are my only options because I'm on a 144 hertz monitor. So we're going to lock it at 72 frames per second. And we should still see, at least we have in all my previous testing, we should still see some frame rate fluctuations. Yep, just went down to 60. And again, I apologize if it's hard for you guys to see on the screen. Um, it was perfectly sunny before. Before I turned on the camera. Matter of fact, this is probably my seventh take recording and of course it's this one where it's uh rainy and overcast and affecting the sky which again affects your ability to see that frame rate counter but hopefully you can see it all right just felt a pretty big stutter but the frame rate didn't go down too harshly oh we just went into the 50s all right so as you can see pretty good amount of stutter and i wanted to show you that that stutter was happening with these exact settings all right and I wanted to show you it was happening with uh, the game capped at 72 FPS and with the game unlocked uh, for the frame rate. I wanted to make that very clear. Now, let me show you the trick. We're going to exit to the desktop. We're going to tell it yes. And in some way, there's two parts to this trick, all right? And in some ways, it's incredibly simple. And then in some ways, it's not something that you might think of. All right, so you right click on the desktop, you go to the NVIDIA control panel. And here is the Dilio, all right? Normally when I game on a nice 144 hertz monitor with DisplayPort, I use PC 1920 by 1080 because this is a 1080p monitor, but that would say 2560 by 1440 if it was a 1440p monitor, a normal 16 by nine, not a widescreen. Anyway, I'd be here where we are, PC, all right, P. C, let me zoom in. I'm sure you can see it, but I'm going to overcompensate. All right, look. PC, 1980 by 1920 by 1080, 144 hertz. Now, the reason I keep pointing that out is because this is the only way you're going to get 144 hertz, okay? And it's a 144 hertz monitor, so most of the time this is what you're going to pick. However, if you go up to here where it says native, all right, 60 hertz is as high as you can go, but tell it apply, all right? So we've now sacrificed our 144 hertz, but for this game, it's going to be worth the sacrifice for this game only. All right, so now we're at 1080p, where it says native, 60 hertz. We no longer have 144 hertz available to us, all right? So <clears throat> that kind of is a stinker, but it is what it is. All right, so we start the game now. I'm going to start it right back up. And this should more or less fix the stutter. There will still be some slight fluctuations 
and I had to have the settings turned down. This is a GTX 1070. And I'm seeing people say they play the game in Ultra 4K. They play the game with the 1070 in 4K at the Ultra preset. That's what people are telling me in the comments on my videos. That's what people are saying on Twitter. That's what people are saying in the comments of other videos. That they can play the game with a single GTX 1070 in 4K Ultra and get 60 frames per second. Now, to be honest with you, I'm a little doubtful of that. And the reason I say that is because even Digital Foundry has said that they are using a Titan XP and they cannot even get a solid 60 frames per second at 4K Ultra. They have to turn MSAA off. And even then, it's only a barely solid 60 FPS and they're using a Titan XP. So for the people who say they're using a GTX 1070 and they're playing at 4K and they're getting 60 FPS at the Ultra preset, I mean, maybe they are. If they are, I'm going to I'm gonna admit I'm a little bit jealous. But unfortunately for me, I have to turn settings down at 1080p. All right? That's where I'm at. However, the stutter is mostly gone. So there is something of a trick because it's still going to stutter until I do one more thing. All right. See how we still have uh, fluctuations in the frame rate? We still have fluctuations until we go and turn V-Sync on. All right? I know that sounds counterintuitive. Like, when does turning V-Sync on get rid of stutter? Well, apparently when you're in this situation. So we're going to do it. V-Sync is on. And now watch that frame rate. And it will barely fluctuate whatsoever. It will still fluctuate some. It'll go down to like 57 sometimes. Uh, it just went down to 58. Although it always, always fluctuates in that particular spot. Get back on the road. Now we're at solid 60. So what I'll do, with, I don't know if you can see that counter or not. What I'll do is I'll call out when it goes below 60, which it will. All right. This is not going to give you perfect frame rate. It's not going to lock it. There we go. 56 just went down to 56. And it always stutters to some degree when I go over that roundabout. But I'm telling you, this is the smoothest I've ever seen this game play in the three days that we've been able to play it. Perfect 60. I ah, just went to 58 when I hit that dude. And then when I'm doing this big U-turn, it went to 58 again. But this is good. It's 59 now. And then it's back up to 60. Here, let me do this race. This race was killing me. Uh, obviously, I'm early in the game. You can probably guess by the vehicle I'm driving, by the level that I'm at, the amount of money I have, anything you may have noticed on the screen. Um, but this is one of the earlier races. It's one of the first races that you get to drive around in the open world and go pick. And that means, you know, early on there were problems. Even the introduction race. When you start this game, there's an unskippable movie you have to watch. And then there is an unskippable stretch that you have to drive. And even in that stretch, the stuttering was terrible. All right. Uh, so the stuttering has been a big deal ever since I started the game. But now, I just felt it stutter a little bit when I was going on the bridge. But now it's it's tolerable. It stutters a little bit sometimes. Uh, before it was stuttering often. To the point where it was taking me out of the experience. It was very, very difficult to play. And I showed you guys in my previous video, I had a GTX 1080 with a 6700K, both of them overclocked. And... With that system and settings very similar to this, I was still getting stuttering at 1080p with the 1080, and that's just not acceptable. All right, so here we are, GTX 1070, weaker card, 4790 non-K, so you can't overclock it, weaker processor, DDR3 RAM, which is much slower because uh, my DDR4 RAM and the other systems at 3200 megahertz, this is only 1800 megahertz RAM, and this race does have some stuttering, unfortunately, but it's not unplayable. It was unplayable before. It was very, very frustrating, and nothing I did could make the game feel playable. All right, so I've, I've shown you most of the trick, but I need to explain one more thing, all right? So let's recap what we've covered so far. You go into the NVIDIA control panel, you give up your beautiful 144 hertz, and you go to 60 hertz. All right, you go to that section where it says native next to 1920 by 1080p. All right, you pick that. I just felt a little bit of stuttering, but the frame drops are not very bad right here. 
even when it does drop, it's not bad at all. And you guys saw just driving around town earlier was a ton of frame drops. All right, so again, NVIDIA control panel, 1920 by 1080p, 60 hertz, unfortunately, and where it says native, oh, that's really bad racing. And then you go into the game and you turn on VSync. And then the one more trick that you have to do is again, this only applies to you if you have the stuttering. If you're one of these people who is magically playing the game in 4K with a 1070, then you don't need any of these tricks. I don't know why you're watching the video. But if you've had the stuttering, then you're gonna have to make peace with one more thing for this trick that I'm showing you. And that is, you're gonna have to use lower settings than is really fair, all right? With the these exact same settings that I'm using right here, with VSync off, can play in the 70s and the 80s, all right? And you're having to settle for 60 FPS, and you're having to settle for these lower settings. Now, to be fair though, you still do get to use MSAA, it's only times two, but you still get to use it. But here you go. The game looks decent. It does not look as good as it would if it was on Ultra, all right? We already know that. It's not as great as if it could be the full range of your 144 hertz, so you could at least play at 70, 80 frames per second. Uh, so th this is a concession that you have to make. So if you're dealing with the stutter like I've been, then you're going to want to turn down to these settings. You're going to want to go to the NVIDIA control panel and do what I showed you. You're going to want to turn VSync on. And it will not get rid of all the stuttering, but it's mostly gone. Now, I have to test this with weaker graphics cards, and I'm almost certain that I'm going to have to turn some of the stuff that says high down to medium, maybe even low with the GTX 960. All right, uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to test all that, okay guys? And I think what I might do, I, I might do one video discussing four or five different graphics cards, or I might do one video per graphics card, depending on how different the experience is, uh, is on each card, I'm not sure yet. All right, so hopefully this video has helped you guys out. I spent three straight days, I stayed up till two in the morning the night the game came out. So I started playing it um, probably around 10 something because the game was available at 9 and I stayed up till 2 testing it and then Saturday yesterday I stayed up till 3 testing it okay I posted a video where I said I was testing till 1 in the morning in the video but I did two more hours of testing after that and then I've spent all day Sunday dealing with this oh bonus feature here if you want to know how I figured this out uh, I'll tell you if anyone's even still watching this. What I did was I was playing on a 4K television with my 1080 in 4K and the frame rate was stuttering all over the place. So I said, screw it, and I put it into 1920 by 1080 p and it played flawlessly with the GTX 1080. I mean, not even one stutter. And remember, I was playing in 4K, so I had settings that were lowered, all right? So we're talking lowered settings, 1080p, overclocked GTX 1080 and the game didn't stutter at all and I tweeted about that right at the end of my testing last night and I was like how is this possible because I've capped the frame rate on my 144 hertz monitor and you saw that at the start of this video and the game still stuttered it still fluctuated it still had all those problems so why did it play perfectly on a television so what I did was I moved one of my test computers to another television in another room of the house, a 1080p television, all right? And it played pretty well on that too. So I figured it had to do something with that. Well, the thing is, and we'll quit the game. Uh, we'll continue without saving. We'll quit the game. Exit. So the thing is, is... I went to uh, the, the control panel, and when you're connected to a TV, this is where it directs you to the 1080p uh, native or the 2160 native and the 60 hertz. When you use an HDMI cable hooked up to a television, this is where you would normally be. Again, a DisplayPort cable connected to a PC, you would uh, be right here where it says PC and you'd be down here and it doesn't have the word native next to it. It can go up to 144 as you know, we can't do right now. And that's when I realized it had to be this distinction. All right. So your man, AI gaming 1776 tested three different processors. Um, how many GPUs? 
I guess three different GPUs is all I focused on for this, the 1060, 1070, and 1080. So three CPUs, three processors, a 1440p monitor, a 1080p monitor, a 4K TV, and a 1080p TV. And finally, after three days, I puzzled this fix out, all right? And again, this is just a trick because you shouldn't have to do this, right? You shouldn't have to go in and, and play with um, with all that in the control panel. You shouldn't have to do that. And it's still not perfect. There is still some stuttering. And you got to turn the settings down. We are playing at less than the high preset with the GTX 1070. All right? So that's why I call it a trick. Okay? This is not ideal. However, if you're like me and you're addicted to the Forza games and you want to play them without the stuttering on PC, hopefully this video will work for you and hopefully Turn 10, Playground Games, and Microsoft will get their act together and make us not have to jump through these hoops. So thanks for watching guys. I love you very much. I love all three and a half thousand of you. I think, oh no, we're not, we're not at three and a half thousand yet. Um, I'm, I'm jumping the gun there. We're only at 3,200. But it is, I think, two and a half million views. Three and a half million. I don't even know anymore. I need to check. But I love all of you is the point. All right, much love. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell your homies that I put in this work, because I do. I put in the work for the PC gaming community. I don't just run canned benchmarks. And I don't just try to post my video first to get a bunch of views. I actually spend hours and hours of my time trying to make sure I know how the game really works, what the problems are, and how to fix them before I turn on the camera and run my mouth, all right? Because I'm putting you guys first, and hopefully you guys see that and appreciate that. I know a lot of you do. So again, thank you very much and have a good one.